Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have another Michael Jackson one on the agenda today on the heels of doing Dirty Diana recently. Love Dirty Diana. Yeah, I love that one. Fire it's song. Probably my favorite Michael Jackson song. And uh, we were talking a little bit before we got on camera that uh, Sam had gone back and checked out the weekend version. Yeah, because that's what I was initially exposed to. And then I remember thinking at the time, like, this is so good, which it is good. But then I went and listened to the Michael Jackson one here. And then I listened to the weekend one again. And I was like, no, Michael Jackson's definitely better. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be hard to uh, get by the original, right? Yeah. The original creativity in it. And uh, it was yeah. a great song. I mean, it's I. It's just a another level. Well, I mean, we obviously know how popular Michael Jackson yes. is and was. And. Well, I mean, we didn't know that really so much in the now beginning. Now we know. Now we know. <laughs> now we've kind of got that vibe a bit more. But anyways, I was just saying, you know, knowing the notoriety of Michael Jackson and that song we both said we loved. And mm -hmm. for me, I said it was my favorite that I've heard. Yeah. So same. in light of that, you're saying like the favorite, most your most favorite song from Michael Jackson and then comparing it to, a, you know, a cover version of it. Yeah. It's going to be hard to 100%. compare. Right? So no yeah. slight on the, on the weekend. I think no, no. Probably, like I said, his was still great. It just. Michael Jackson's another level. Yeah. And so on the heels of that, in the comments, you guys are saying we got to get it to a give in to me. Yes. Because there's a special guitar solo feature yeah. on this one. Oh, Slash. Yeah, Slash. It definitely and has a little bit more of a rock kind of vibe to this one. Yeah. Which I like from Michael Jackson. Like, don't get me wrong. His, like, pop stuff is catchy. But, like, I like the little bit of a darker side to him. Yeah, it was really eye-opening for me to see yeah. it in Dirty Diana. So we haven't done Guns N' Roses in a little while. Yeah, we it's been a while. We did that a little earlier in the channel. But we've loved Slash's work. So now we get to see two of these legends on the same track i'm yeah, excited me too this is brand new for us first yeah. time listen this has been the story of our channel so um if you want to join us on this journey that's what we're going to continue doing you can hit the subscribe button you ready i'm ready let's do it let's go Hold on, bud. <laughs> We're not going into the solo just yet. We'll rewind that a little bit and lead into it. So what are your thoughts so far? You were asking me. I'm on the spot first here about yes. what I'm feeling on this one. It's fire. Yeah. I really like, like I said, I really like this kind of darker vibe from him. I just love the grittiness. Yeah. Like I've never heard that from Michael Jackson. So much passion. I mean, I haven't heard much from Michael Jackson to begin with. But yeah. <laughs> but, you know. I feel the like there bits... was a bit of that though in Dirty Diana. For no, sure. I know. I'm saying like this is kind of 
trailing yes. off of Dirty yeah, Diamond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why people were saying that we yeah. need to check it out because they were like, yeah, if you like this rock version of Michael, you need to check out this one too. Mm -hmm. And I totally understand why you guys were saying yeah. that. But uh, from the pieces that I have heard here and there from Michael Jackson, you know, I've never heard him get so gritty in these pockets and show off the dexterity in his voice like this. And mm -hmm. it's it really, I think, is... Uh, so unique. We know you might, Michael's unique as it is, right? But this adds another layer to that uniqueness, showing his diversity from a music catalog, which, you know, creatively is very impressive. But also, from a listener standpoint, it's very refreshing because yeah. you can go to so many different sides of Michael that you want to listen to. 100%. And so, for me, this is my favorite part of Michael so far, is yeah. this um, raw, emotional side of it a yeah. little bit more like you said the pop side is great because you know you can listen to it it's and catchy it's, it's fun yeah but this i almost feel like is the real michael yeah you know you it's like connect like, with this more. Ex exactly yeah it's, for sure I agree. and i'm sure there's other songs out there that he does maybe on a, a you know a love song or something like that but this is more of the aggressive you know the uh, human side of, of yeah, michael like, i feel it seems like. like he's like more like raw in yeah this. Yeah, no, I totally agree. I really like it. Like I said, it reminds me a lot of the same kind of delivery as Dirty Diana. And I like that side of him. Like, it's almost like you said, like more authentic, kind of darker, raw, grittier kind mm -hmm. of side of him. And musically, I'm loving it. I mean, the, the melody is just combined with his vocal in such a great way. The way he's mm -hmm. saying the lyrics and the way Slash is playing the riff mm -hmm. is just layered perfectly. I mean, you got the offset with the groove as well, which keeps that rhythm, you know, nice and tight. And, and then you've got the pockets that Michael's getting into with his vocal to emphasize certain yep. points melodically, yeah. which sounds awesome. So I'm um, really loving this dance one. moves in there too. Yeah, of course. Well, that's a given. <laughs> if, if you don't see that, there's a problem, bro. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm loving this one. Uh, uh, now we get to look forward to Slash's solo. Yeah, it's building up to that. Now it's got to rewind it a little bit so we get the uh, the build. I'm I'm gonna. I feel like it's gonna be a mix of aggressive and loving at the same time. Aggressive and loving. Yeah, it's like a, um, you know, when you you love somebody but they frustrate you so much. <laughs> You yeah. know, that feeling? Yeah. And I feel like that's what Slash is going to do on this guitar show because he does a great job of capturing the emotion yes, with his the guitar. Solos. Yeah, for sure. And I feel like that's kind of the vibe, like the emotive vibe I've gotten from Michael so far as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's roll.
They were electric. Yeah, I think those 1991 visual effects need a little bit of work. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> it's crazy that it was 30 years ago now. Yeah, I know. Crazy. You look back and you see movies and you're just like, what were they thinking? <laughs> I know. And it's funny because there's certain things where I remember, at least at the time, thinking like, wow, this is really yeah, well done. That's the way it always works, right? And then you see it later and you're like, how did I not think this well, was super cheesy? It's just because the technology evolves, right? So, 100%. I mean... Um, at the time, like you said, it was probably cool when he saw that yeah. the electricity that they had yeah, going through like, them Whoo! between Slash and so MJ. So exciting! It's like these two legends on the same song, and it's just an electric each other. performance, which you know it was. And, yeah, and, for um, sure. Yeah, I think I really like the outro portion, the mix between the outro chorus repeating with mm-hmm. guitars, uh, the guitar solo from Slash. Yeah, and I think it was a really genius idea to get them on the same song i don't know how it came to be yeah but i feel they like slash each other really yeah well. slash's guitar work really complemented the song and mj's vocal so well and this fit in right like i said how slash kind of has a great way of playing an emotive side of the guitar yeah and this is what was needed on this song oh 100 it was so good it fit in perfectly and clearly you know michael jackson was open to uh, getting the best of the best on his tracks because he has um, one with Eddie Van Halen too, mm-hmm. right? We yeah. haven't we haven't heard that. He's like, probably like, let's get some fire guitar players <laughs> and uh, make some magic. Yeah, but I mean, you wouldn't expect that from you know the pop, king of pop, yeah. quote unquote. Yeah, you know. But I think that plays into his respect for the artistry, right, and the respect for mm-hmm. other artists as a whole yeah. that he wanted to collaborate with them. So you you see artists today, you know, um, they won't step into their lane as much as we're seeing. You know him doing. Oh, 100 percent. They just want to like stick in their comfort zone exactly. and what they're good at, and, and they I don't, don't take a risk like that. And obviously, it paid off for him. Yeah. So I mean, I haven't listened to that Van Halen solo yeah, I, either. I don't even know what it is. Um, so I mean, we might have heard the song at some point, but uh, we've never, you know, since doing the reaction channel and getting exposed to Van Halen and getting exposed to Michael, we haven't done that. So maybe we should now, in light of seeing Slash and Michael combine, we should next. go back and do Michael and Van Van Halen doing their thing. Yeah, if you guys want to see that, let us know in the comments below. So, will you have any closing thoughts on this one? Fire, straight fire. <laughs> She's copying me now. That's my term when I say fire. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I liked it a lot though. It was good. Like I said, I think that like if you guys have seen the other Michael Jackson videos that we've done, I was exposed to Michael Jackson when I was younger a little bit because I did a figure skating carnival where the whole theme was Michael Jackson from that one album with like Billie Jean mm-hmm. and those, those, those songs. Um, but this is so different and I just like, I definitely love this side of him. Yeah, agreed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. Make sure you hit the like button if you did. And um, leave us a comment. Let us know uh, if there's anything else you want us to check out. You guys gave us some great direction on the last video, Dirty Diana, and where to go next. And yes. you know that's why we arrived at this one. So give us some more direction. We appreciate your insights. This channel wouldn't be where it is today without all of you. Thank you so much for the subscriptions, the likes, the comments. All that stuff has been overwhelming. We've gotten 125,000 subscribers in you know, less than a year and a half. So it's been mind-blowing. But we've really enjoyed the journey. And we'd love to have you alongside us so hit the subscribe button the notification bell and we'll see you tomorrow thanks so much for watching guys see you then